Hello everyone, this is Suresh from Azure Automation channel. Welcome back again. Now in this session, I will show you the important part of your entire framework series, which is whenever you are working with Maven project, you need to create an environment where with only one command line, entire your project has to be executed. In case if you are working with TestNG or with Cucumber, you need to have a different XML files, right? So each and every XML file you cannot execute one by one manually, right? So for that you need to create some environment in your Maven configuration so that our XML files will be executed even though you have one XML file or you have a number of XML files in any particular location that you mentioned in your project. Like uh, our project has one XML file here. Now I wanted to add one more XML file or you wanted to change environment specific XML file. So for that setup, we need to create some environment. You need to go to your pom.xml and this is a page object model pattern that we have discussed so far. So we have all the things available here like objects, test methods, objects, locations, what we have locators and test methods and everything. Now in the pom.xml, we have dependencies so far we have used this dependencies but now we need some extra builds plugins to be added i have all the build plugins handy so i will share all the plugins in the description box so this is the plugins i have and let me put in my xml file and later i will explain so you need to put those under build tag so this is a build and we have dependencies so dependence should be ended after that you need to create build and build should end with again one more build and under that you should have plugins so plugin has to be ended under that plugins you need to have individual plugin so we have two plugins here one is a compiler plugin one is a sure fly plugin so this compiler plugin is with version 3.8.1 and with a configuration source and target and we have sure fly which is with the version of uh, 3.0.0-m5 and here you can see in the configuration i have kept suit xml file and that suit xml file is pointing to our suit xml's location right so in our project we have suit xml location so here you have right suit xml location here now if i go and execute my entire project so before that i need to save my project so let me quickly save right now if i go and right click to my project and First of all, whenever you add any build plugins, you need to must go and do Maven and you need to update. So this update will update your entire project. If there is any conflict that will get resolved by this. And once you have this, just go and again right click to your project, run as Maven test. Earlier you have did for test method level then after you have did for suit level test ng.xml now we are doing entire project level with the maven test so this will execute your maven project now it is running all the test cases that we have designed so far right so this is how our execution will takes place in a jenkins location or from command line or from our ci cd pipeline point of view so this is the most important and these questions are asked in n number of types in all the interviews for from level 3 to I mean 3 years of experience to above. Now it says build success. We have test run 3 and no failures. All test case got passed. Right. So this is how you do the build plugins in your pom.xml and run for your page object model pattern. Now in the next session we will discuss on reporting utility so we will try to configure any one reporting utility so we have n number of reporting utilities that we will add one reporting utility for our 
stage object model pattern framework and we'll see in next session i hope this session is useful for you in case if you are new to my channel do subscribe and also do share your questions queries in my comment section if you're stuck anywhere or if you are facing any issue or do you need any solution for your project thank you